Hi everyone, so today's video will be um, on a super nice find I did at the drugstore which is a dupe for some of my favorite palettes that are the Naked 1 and the Naked 2 Basics by Urban Decay so uh, I will tell you what they are they are the um, palettes from a brand called W7 they're called um, in the Mood and In the City. So, In the Mood is a dupe for the first Naked Basics, and In the City is a dupe for the Naked 2 Basics. So, these um, I paid, this one I paid, I think, $3, and this one I paid $7 um, because this one was a little bit open, but none of these shadows were touched. So I was like, oh. So, yeah, I paid, um, anyway, I paid $6.99, which for me is a super nice price considering these are here at least. <gasps> Mother. These are close to $40, so the fact that there are some alternatives that are less than $10 is truly amazing. So... I have them swatch on my hand because this is the second take of this video but I will show you more detailed some swatches because yeah I want to show you something more detailed and I start this video again because I thought it wasn't nice enough so yeah um, I will tell you each shade talk about each because I I really want to show how similar but also different, you know, like today you cannot, you, okay, you can't tell that I have the original naked on this eye and the in the mood on this eye and the other day I did the same thing with the naked two and in the city. So I will just compare each shade um, one by one because some shades are better in the Naked of course but some shades are nicer in the W7 which is something really weird, I know but uh, yeah so I'm just going to start off in the Naked Basics you have the shade Venus and in the mood, you have the shade called Shrimp. So, as you can see, they look pretty much the same. Thing changing is the packaging, so... Yeah, um... I have to admit, um, the one in the mood, uh, Shrimp, is more powdery. But, and I prefer a little bit more Venus. But, it's cheaper, even though I'm sort of used that, oh yeah, would I have both? But I have to think about people that don't have both. And I know some of you don't have winter stores because you're not in Canada. But if you're from the US and you know where they sell W7, ex except from online, please write it down below, I would really like it. So yeah, then we have Foxy in the Naked and Oops in the, in the Mood. Here's the Naked and you can see it's more buttery smooth as in the Mood it's a little bit drier and less pigmented but I mostly use this for a brow bone shade so a blending out shade so I don't know if it truly um, matters then we have the shade walk of shame which it's in the mood alternative is Venice um, the one in the naked basics is more pink tone but overall they're pretty much the same consistency and the same um, thing overall sorry I keep looking in that screen is because the flash is it's weird and I cannot look directly to the flash so then we have wink which is an alternative for naked 2 
So here you can see they're pretty much the same thing. They are light. Um, it's not that they're not pigmented. It's just that the color is really close to a um, skin tone. Then we have Faint and The Naked, which is a... Its alternative is Katie and The Mood Palette. Okay, so I tried F'd up Lee. Um, the one from the In The Mood is warmer, as um, Faint is cooler. But if you don't use them like I did today on my outer corner and like each palette on each eye, it won't um, make such a difference. And the last shade um, I have in the Naked is called Crave and it's in the Mood Alternative is called Cargo. No surprise here, but the black in the in the mood is a little bit more faded, a little bit more grayish, while the crave color, which is they label as dark brown, but let's just take a moment to say stop driving and it's darker. It's a dark black for me. Um, this one is really more pigmented and but it blends out easily, so you can get if you don't pat it, you can lose that um, dark black effect. Compare those. Um, both are powdery, but if that's what it takes to get pigment. So then I will compare the Naked 2 with the In The City. So I will just wash my hands. So in the Naked 2 Basics, you have Skimp, while in the City palette, you have Wig Wham. So this one from the Naked Basics, um, Naked 2 Basics, is more. Um, shimmery but does it really matter when they're not side by side i don't think so because because um this one is kind of shimmery as well it's just compared to this one um it looks more matte and we have stark in the naked while we have troy in the in the city so the one in the city palette is more is more pinkish while the one in the basics look more sheer although it's not really Then we have Frisk in the Naked 2 and Brass in the City palette which I never liked this shade in the original Naked 2 so and I will tell you why. It is not um, pigmented. Like, it's here and it looks like nothing. And that's what I like about the one in the city is that it really pigmented. It shows that it is a cool gray, not a brassy color. Oh my God, brass. So, I prefer the one in the city, but you know. And we have my favorite shade. And. Just showing you how much it is my favorite shade, it has a hole in it because it is used to the So, so in the Naked 2 Basics it's called Cover and it's called Touch in the City Palette. So I prefer Cover because it has sort of more of a reddish tone to it. If not, both shades are equally pigmented and they look as nice on the eyes. Then we have Primal in the Naked 2 and we have Autumn in the In The City. They look identical. This one is from In The City. This, always the Naked side and the um, W7 side. Sorry for the talking. But they look really identical and both act, both act nice on the eye. And last but not least, we have Undone in the Naked 2 and Andrea in the In The City palette from W7. So, um, I prefer Undone because it really looks that, like that um, true gunmetal gray compared to this one that is a little bit more faded. Like, Andrea, come on, I'm disappointed in you. Um, but yeah, I prefer this one, but if you just blend it out, it doesn't look that much dramatic. I'll just wash my hand again. 
So if you want just those basic shades are DW7 uh, worth it. Absolutely, these are my new babies. Naked are already my babies, but I had twins. Um, these well, these palettes are amazing. I definitely recommend them because if you really want to save some money, these one um, they are um, a nice comparison. Like I've been wearing these for hours and this is the naked side this is the um w7 side and it still looks the same it looks perfect so i'm really impressed um i did not thought these would be as good i was going to make the video anyway like comparing but i'm really glad like i found some really nice dupes um so it would just be uh, what I grab first. Um, but if you have already, let's say, the Naked Basics and you think it's fragile and you don't want to break it like while traveling, I think these could be like, if I break it, it's $5, not 40 you know? Um, so yeah, these are incredible quality. It was the first time trying this brand, even though I know most of their palettes are <laughs> Naked down. Um, alternative but they are really 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 nice um, so thanks a lot for watching um, videos were a lot delayed like we're in August now and this video will probably be up in September and it is because um, computer problems again yay so thanks a lot for watching I hope this video was helpful to you if you have any other suggestions, just write them down below and I will be more than happy to do it. I always, always, always do what is recommended to me. So yeah, if you wanted to snatch these bad boys um, with the drugstore price, here they are and I will see you next time.